There are different levels of development in different areas of the planet. One of these differences is the amount of goods one specific person owns. These differences also existed many years ago, when different civilizations sailed across the oceans and met for the first time. Were the humans from certain areas less intelligent than others? Definitely not. What we see there is the puzzling effect of environment and luck. To understand this, we need to go back 8,000 years. At that time, humans were already spread around the globe and the first sedentary societies were established. Luck begins with one of the most groundbreaking developments in the history of society. The capacity to domesticate animals. Large parts of the animal kingdom are candidates for domestication. But domestication is rare. Of the 148 candidates, only 14 have been domesticated on the entire planet during all human existence. Some have been able to be tamed, such as elephants, who can be captured and trained to do what we want. But this is far from domestication. For animals to be domesticated, we need them to eat plants or rubbish, to be over a hundred pounds in order to help with work, live on land, have a sustainable diet, feed on an abundant resource, grow quickly in order to be productive, have a social structure, reproduce in captivity, be calm, be non-aggressive towards humans. Sheep, goats, cows, pigs and horses are our five big world champions. These animals became fundamental to the progression of those societies lucky enough to have them, giving them milk products, fertilizers, company, fur, cloth and plough traction. Other factors like germs will have a huge influence. Germs would be the most effective weapon in the inevitable clash between civilizations. But that's another story.